Hi there. This is tutorial 1. Floor Plan Generation. In this tutorial we will be learning the following. Import a floor plan from DWG, DXF, PDF formats. Trace a floor plan. Add elements to floor plan, such as openings and bracing. Export a floor plan to CAD formats. Generate the structure from the floor plan. Importing a floor plan. Click on this icon to open up the import and export tool icons. Click on the import tool icon. You will be presented with a pop-up window with import properties. You can select the unit of measure for the file you will be importing. If you are not certain, leave it set at millimeters. You can always use SketchUp scaling feature to scale after you import. With regards to polylines and material properties, you will play with these settings to import different elements from your model. This will be used by more advanced users. Set it default for now. Finally, select the file type you will be importing. You can import from general CAD formats such as DXF, DWG and PDF. For this tutorial we will cover PDF import to get started. We will use the following PDF imported floor plan going forward. You can play along with your own imported PDF floor plan. Let's get started tracing. Let's trace the import PDF floor plan. Tip How to rescale after import. We will use SketchUp's rescaling feature to rescale the entire import. The first step is to find a dimension that is known or specified in the floor plan. Let's use the window opening of 1200 mm. Select the tape measure tool and measure a reference point. As you can see by looking at the bottom right hand side of the screen, the scale of the model is not correct. Now we can select a known measurement or distance if you want to call it between two points. Click the first point and then the second. After you click the second, simply enter the value using your keyboard for the correct distance between the two points. You will be presented with a pop-up confirmation to rescale the entire model. Click OK. As you can see, the entire model has been rescaled. You can use the tape measure tool to confirm if it's now correct. Congratulations on getting this far. We are now ready to proceed with the tracing. Here is something to think about. How would an LSF structure fare in the story of the three little pigs? I reckon using Frame Builder MRD to design a sound structure will give Big Bad Wolves a very hard time. It's easy. Let's show you. Click on the wall module icon. Then click on the trace tool number one icon. Number one is the indicator for the first step in this process. The second icon with the number 2 is the next major step to generate the structure from the floor plan. We will get to the generating part shortly. Let's do a simple trace to get started. We will trace a portion of the floor plan and then I will explain the features and settings for this tool. Click OK to activate the trace tool. Click your first start point for the wall you will be tracing on the floor plan. Now click the second point. You will notice the trace is either offset to the left, right or centered. You can set the offset up front in the properties window. Tip. You can use the keyboard shortcut J to swap between offset justifications.
Let's proceed to trace a few walls, insert some elements such as doors, windows, extra studs and bracing in the floor plan. OK. You notice the wall traces are automatically split to the maximum of the default wall settings. Now let's add a window and door openings. You will use the standard window and door tool sets. You will notice the elements are clearly marked when inserted into the trace. Let's add some connecting studs for an interior wall. Use the standard stud insert tool to add a stud. Note the justification when a stud is added. Let's add a door. You will use the standard door tool set. before we generate this floor plan. It is recommended you save this floor plan and only use a copy to generate a structure from it. In this way you can always reference the original if you need to make changes. You can choose to export to CAD formats such as DXF to share with other experts on your team. Let's do a quick export. First select the trace you have done. Second click the Import Export icon. Lastly, select the Export Format. There you go. How to process a floor plan Click on the process a floor plan icon found in the wall tool set. Depending on the scale of your trace, it will take anything from a few seconds to several minutes to generate.